Hi everyone. I'm going to try to keep it down low. Um, Scarlett. This is the second time she has fallen asleep in the swing in two months. She's just, I don't think she's been old enough to really care for it. And it's 11.22 at night and she just is more fussy than usual. Um, and it's because she had her two month shots um, today. Um, speaking of that, her two month update is um, uploading now if you were wanting to see um, that part of my journey. This part is my two month postpartum and also today is my 23 month post on my gastric bypass. So I'll do the postpartum first. Um, I have not talked a lot about my gastric bypass during my pregnancy and that's just because it wasn't so much that it was on hold, it's just my diet and a lot of things changed um, during my pregnancy and because I was high risk pregnancy also with the gastric bypass and my other stomach surgeries, um, I had to change quite a bit in regards to my lifestyle. So anyways, um, getting back on track with the postpartum and the weight loss and whatnot, here we go. Postpartum I'm doing pretty good other than I'm tired, which is to be um, expected in regards to having a newborn in the house. Um, I am officially nine weeks as of today out of um, having Scarlet and I'm feeling really good. Um, I'm nine pounds away from where I was before I had her. I gained 42 pounds altogether. When I got pregnant, I was 194 pounds. And so that tells you where I'm at today. Um, I still can't fit into some of my pre-pregnancy genes and I don't know why. I think maybe hips widen. I don't know. I was 447 pounds when I started this whole journey. Um, 400.5 pounds when I met Dr. Oakley. And 363 pounds when I went into surgery. And the loss I got was 192.4 pounds um, in regards to my weight loss surgery journey. And it was 194 pounds when I got pregnant with her. Um, I'm doing good postpartum, um, I'm breastfeeding exclusively, trying to, I can't really say exclusively because there's on occasion that I do give her a bottle, but lately it's been exclusively breastfeeding her at night. Um, she prefers the breast at night, she almost always refuses bottle at night and refuses breast during the day. Um, I just think she's more fussy during the day and um, the more awake and fussy she is, the more she doesn't want to watch. If she's kind of tired and wants to bond and be close to mom, that's usually more at night. Um, how am I doing emotionally? I'm doing pretty well other than when she got her shots today. I thought I was going to have a meltdown. Just it's a completely weird feeling to see your child in pain. Um, I did lose it when Spencer got his shots when he first came home and we were trying to get everything updated and him caught up on things. And it definitely is a, I don't want to say different feeling, but it kind of is different. Um, Spencer and I have our own bond and Scarlett and I have our own bond. But it is a different kind of bond. Um, no better, no worse. Just It's just a different kind of bond. I did feel like it was going to have a meltdown. She had three shots in her leg and one in her mouth. And my emotions were just all over the place. And I'm uh, extra tired tonight, I think, because of that. <clears throat> um, my hip is doing better. Um, if, if you guys don't... No, I did pop my hip out when I had Scarlet, and I think that's because I pushed her out in three and a half minutes. It was a very fast um, labor and delivery, and um, 
I am starting tomorrow on um, therapy and uh, physical therapy for that to strengthen that so that it doesn't pop out of place anymore. It's popped out of place three times since I've had her and it's very painful. Um, what else? I am trying to be as active as I can with what's going on with Spencer. Um, if you want to know what's going on with that, we talk about Spencer's update and Scarlett's two-month update. Um, we're trying to keep her as active as possible, getting the kids out of the house at least once a day to expose them to sunlight and fresh air and just to keep them active. I've been going to the park a lot. I've taken them to the library a couple times. <clears throat> With Scarlett having colic and acid reflux, getting over thrush and having a eye infection. Um, and then of course with Spencer being in the hospital, it's, it's just been crazy and I've tried to keep them and myself as active as possible. We've been keeping um, walks up, trying to keep walks up. Um, you can definitely tell that our walks have went down because our dogs have gained weight and you can definitely see it on them. Um, Alan and I feel better mentally and physically when we're keeping our walks up. And Alan's been working 12 hour shifts but gone 14, 14 and a half hours a day. So, life's been crazy. Um, I'm trying to keep up my videos as much as I can. It is important to me to keep active in the communities. The weight loss surgery community, the trying to conceive and conceiving community, and the Haitian and adoption communities that we belong to. Each and every one of you that belong to these communities have helped Alan and I get to where we're at today. The weight loss surgery community in particular in regards to Scarlet because you all are my main support group. I would not be here today, Scarlet would not be here today if it was not for you all. You have been my support. Not Dr. Oakley's local support group in Boise an hour away from here. They have not been my support. You all have been my support. You have made me and I have made myself and my family has made myself where I am today. And to be honest, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you all. With that being said, I thank you. And you all know who you are that sticks out in particular. So I do want to say hi to Renee to Alana and to Calista and hope you are all doing well being moms and it's um, tough but it is so worth it. So worth it. Um, love being a mother to Spencer and I love being a mother to Scarlett. Um, I've been blessed twice and I couldn't be more thankful. Um, I want to thank and say hello to um, Tanya and to Virginia. Virginia, it's been a long time. To Lizette and to Janie and um, just to some of you. I know I'm going to stop this video and think of a million people. Um, Monica, Texas Lovely 99. Can't wait to see you in Texas. And um, Texas Mom of Five, can't wait to see you in Texas. And um, pretty much everyone that's going to be in Texas for the weight loss surgery community meet and greet. Alan, is, Alan and I are trying our hardest to be there in October. Um, we're actually planning a trip to see Alan's family in October and we can't wait. His nieces and nephews have gotten so big and we haven't been to Texas since um, 2000 so we are looking forward to that. 2000, 2001, something like that. So I will stop rambling and um, let you all go. I'm going to go to bed and put Pumpkin over here to bed and Spencer's already in bed. And um, if anyone has any questions about um, trying to conceive, um, conceiving after gastric bypass, vitamins, 
um, anything in regards to my health, anything that I might have forgotten, please let me know. I'm just tired. And um, I will try my hardest to get back to you in a fashionable manner. I know I've been really bad about responding to my comments, and I apologize. Um, it's just hectic, but I do read every single one of them. They go right into my email, and I read my email umpteen times a day. And they mean every single one of them mean the world to me. And Ellen and I love receiving comments as well as giving them. So we will talk to you later, and um, you all take care. Bye.